guys, Spooky Squid here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk about my favorite 90s horror movies. So let's get started. So I'll be doing a top 10 of my favorite 90s horror movies. Just keep in mind that these are my favorites. Some of them are just... I know some of them are campy and cheesy. It's just, I don't have to justify myself to you guys. Whatever, I love these movies. <laughs> so number 10 is seven. I remember watching this movie when I was a kid and it traumatized me. I don't even know why my mom let me watch that movie. She wouldn't even let me watch The Simpsons. Like, it doesn't make any sense, but Anyway, I watched this movie and yeah, it terrified the living shit out of me. That scene with the sloth where the guy is all like, like you think he's dead and then he just like starts choking. Like, I still have nightmares about that. So the movie starts off kind of like, I don't know, police cop thriller-esque movie, but then it slowly evolves into like something really horrifying when you see like how people have been killed and I just it's such a cool concept and because it's like kind of a cop movie it doesn't really make you focus on like it's not a gory movie for the sake of being gory like there's a plot and reasons for that and I don't know I just really enjoyed watching that movie and I should probably rewatch it soon I haven't seen it in a really long time but yeah, that was number 10. Number nine is Dee Snyder's Strange Land. Is anyone surprised? No. <laughs> so the movie kind of starts off with, you know, internet chats, which kind of makes me laugh nowadays because it's like, don't talk to strangers online or they'll kidnap you and kill you. And now like everyone talks to strangers online. <laughs> like it's just how it is now. And it just kind of makes me laugh, but. It is like campy, cheesy 90s excellence and like it does, it did show like kind of only crazy people get like piercings and shit, but whatever. It's, it still kind of showed it to the mainstream and for something in the 90s, it was like pretty unheard of. So maybe it has a place in my heart. So. Number eight is Sleepy Hollow. And honestly, I think it's probably my favorite Tim Burton movie. I don't know, maybe. I just, I love the atmosphere. And like, I know it's not really a favorite for most people, but I just, I love the way it's done. And I love Sleepy Hollow story. Like it's such a good story. And they just created like such a creepy, atmosphere throughout the whole movie that I just like the visuals are so well done and I just like it's a nice movie it's it's a cool movie to watch so that's why it's number eight number seven I don't think a lot of people know about this movie but anyway number seven is Dark City and it really is a weird movie like it's kind of it is horror, but I don't know how else to explain it. There's like sci-fi involved, but it's not. It's a very weird movie. Like at the beginning, you don't really know what's going on. Um, it happens in a city and like the title of the movie says, like it's always dark. It's always nighttime and strange things happen with like time jumps and people losing their memories. And, and like you kind of realize that these strange beings with like weird telekinetic powers are controlling the city and like controlling people's thoughts and memories. And it's just weird. <laughs> you don't really understand what's going on until the very end. And then you're like, oh, and, and even the ending, it's not really a happy ending. It's just kind of an ending. <laughs> And, but yeah, this is another movie that I watched when I was a kid and 
there's a couple scenes that just kind of terrified me. And again, like, I don't know why my mom let me watch these movies, but she did. She's such a weirdo. Anyway, I love this movie and highly recommend you guys checking it out if you haven't seen it yet. Number six. So a lot of 90s movies were like teen horror movies, like really can't be cheesy ones. And I, I think this is, yeah, it's the only one on my list, but as far as like teen horror movies go, this is the best. So number six is The Faculty. And again, I think it's so underrated. It's like, of course it happens in high school and you have these students kind of, they know each other and they have to band together. It kind of reminds me of like, it's kind of breakfast club, but they have to fight off their teachers that are aliens. <laughs> so, and this movie is the reason why Elijah Wood got a part in Lord of the Rings, so it's it's kind of cool. <laughs> but I really love this movie. Like all the actors are really amazing, and just I mean I love aliens. Like and I'd say it's a sci-fi, but it's more because you don't really know what's going on at the beginning. I'd say it's more horror than sci-fi. So I'm putting it on the list. All right, we're getting in the top five, guys. <laughs> Number five is Event Horizon. And again, it's another underrated horror movie. Like it's so strange. Like you'd look at the cover, like the posters and watch the trailers and you'd think like, this is like sci-fi, you know, explorer stuff, but it's, it has a weird Lovecraftian vibe. And like, I love that shit. <laughs> it's like, you people are questioning their sanity. You don't really know like who the bad guy is. Like there's, there's no bad guys. It's just like something that happens to all the people in the ship and they become their own worst enemies because of things that they see. It's not really explained and like fear of the unknown is what this movie is about. And I just, they did it so well. Like it's, the practical effects were really good too. Um, all the actors were really good. And I don't know, as far as like sci-fi horror movie goes, I think like this was, this one was really ahead of its time. And I don't know, I think it deserves more praise. Number four, Bram Stoker's Dracula. And I mean, it's a classic, right? It's a gorgeous horror movie and you think of Dracula movie and that's that's the one you automatically think of, the one with Gary Oldman and Keanu Reeves. It's the best retelling of the story just because like, I don't know, the visual effects, like I said, are just gorgeous and the costumes are beautiful. You're just, it's so easy to get into the movie and like kind of put yourself into the character's shoes in the movie. And it's just, I don't know. It's just a beautiful movie. I love it. <laughs> Number three, Blair Witch Project. <laughs> and I know this movie gets like a lot of hate for some reason. Like I really don't understand. It's, it's the movie that kind of brought back the whole found footage. And I think if you're gonna do a found footage movie, like this is the way to do it. Like they just nailed it. None of the actors in the movie were well known. And I mean, they weren't known at all. I don't even think they did ever anything afterwards. So it really put like, they really made it look like this was real and this actually happened. So yeah, it's another movie where you don't see the villain and it's more about what happens in teenagers heads and like how, again, like it's the fear of the unknown. They're lost in the woods. They don't know what's going on. Something's following them. They find like all these weird things on trees and then they find this weird house and like shit hits the fan there. And like, I think that the real 
horror in this movie is just losing control of what's happening. And I thought, I just think it's a, it's a really good horror movie. Like it really scared me. Number two. Okay, I love this movie so much. Number two is The Mummy. <laughs> and although it's not like horror horror per se, it's more funny than horror, I find, but there are some horror aspects to it, so I'm just gonna... It's on the list, and I adore this movie. It's so good. <laughs> like, I love Egyptian stuff, so... There are so many quotable lines in this movie, and, like, everyone knows this movie. Yeah, and it's so easy to, like, talk about, and... Like, Brendan Fraser, Rachel West have such a good chemistry in the movie, and it just makes the movie. I love a good romance. <laughs> like I said, it's funny, but it doesn't really take over the plot. There are some scary aspects to it, and I don't know, all the characters are so great. It's number one. Da-da-da-da! It's Silence of the Lambs. Duh. Are you even surprised? Like, it's a classic. Everyone... Everyone loves this movie. I mean, everyone that loves horror loves this movie. Um, Anthony Hopkins is probably the best part of this movie and he's only in it for like a few minutes. Like really, he has like a few lines and, but he really set the atmosphere for the movie. And again, it's another movie that kind of starts as a thriller and then slowly descends into horror. And like, it has so many quotable lines again, and like, so many different people have done parodies of it, and it's just, it's a classic. And that's why I think it deserves to be number one. So those were my top 10 90s horror movies. Let me know in the comments what you think, what your favorites are, and if you'd like me to do more of these types of videos, I'm thinking of doing like a 90s sci-fi, movie and maybe like go into like the 80s, 70s, all that jazz. I'm probably gonna end up doing it. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you like this. I will see you next time. Bye.